Hello, my name is Kathy, and I'm starting a video series called It's in the Details. I'll show you a card that's very, very simple, and then another one that has a lot of details. So let's get started. We're going to be using some watercolor markers. I'm using ones from Tombow, and I've selected four colors in the purple-blue range. And I'm going to color my entire image with my lightest color first, as you see that I'm doing here. And you don't need to be shy with these markers. You know, they're not delicate. Um, you just, you can just take your aggressions out if you need to. Now I'm adding some of the darker colors, rotating my image around. I just kind of want to scatter each color in a balanced way around my image. Now remember we started with our lightest color, and now we're almost finishing adding our darker colors on top and leaving a few areas with the light color. Now you see I have the light marker and I'm going through those lightest snowflakes right now and I'm picking up a little bit of the color next to them. It gives it kind of a nice tie-dye look I think you'll like. And I just give it like three sprays with the mini mister. Turn it over, stamp it onto watercolor paper. I'm lining my stamp up with this position it stamping positioner. Cross those fingers and hope it comes out great. Sometimes you might want to practice, make sure you have the water right on your stamp. Now hit it with your heat gun and make sure you give it a good bit of dry time. Spray your stamp again and just stamp it on some cardstock and you can use this a secondary wreath for some a project later. So ink up your stamp with some Versamark. Make sure it's clean and you want to line it up on your stamp positioner, you know, check. I, I forgot which way I put my stamp on, so I'm going to have to check, you know, from the right and the top, make sure I have it down good. Um, then you stamp it onto your water coloring very carefully, and then you're going to lift it up and emboss what you just stamped. This way your colors don't run together when you're adding more color. This is the end result. You could stop right now and make a pretty card. Onto my stamped image. And now I'm zapping it with the heat gun. Simple. And it, you know, it just kind of takes your card to the next level. Or you could just stop right here. That's what's fun about card making. Swipe some of your marker onto your mat and spray with a little bit of water and use a brush to pick up the color. You can use a paintbrush or a water brush. I like using the water brushes because cleanup is a snap, um, but I do like to use them empty so I can control the water flow. So go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and color my image with green and if I want more intense color I'll add the marker direct to the paper and then blend it with some water. So I have some shading in different areas. Just wipe any excess off of your embossing. Now we're going to apply some stickles. You can use raw candy or any green and apply it with the brush. This is a Claudine Helmuth brush that I love. It cleans up so easy. Um, now I like to stipple the, uh, excuse me, the stickles onto your wreath. Um, I feel like it it applies the glitter in the product much better than if you would just brush it on. And here you go. Love it. Now we're just going to use a corner rounder. You know, there's so many on the market and just, I love this one by EK Success, but any one works great. It just gives it that little extra. Now we're going to Cut two slits in the wreath to feed the ribbon through. So, you know, just eyeball it and check on the back. Make sure they're, they're there. And then use your knife to kind of open the hole up a little bit and then to slip the ribbon through. Just like that. Pull, feed it through, through the back to the front, and then tie a knot and tie your bow.
add a little dab of glossy accents behind your bow and you're finished. Now you might want to notice I added some gems after and I put them through my cuddle bug and I crushed the gems and broke my plates. So you don't want to do that, but I do love the, the look it gave. So I think you could give it a little pound and maybe get the same look. Thank you for watching my first video and my blog will have all the supply links and you can email me if you have questions.